All right. Whoa, it's Woolsey. Welcome back to another Geometry Dash building challenge video. Now today the challenge doesn't really come from the actual building content in this video. The actual challenge is going to be me trying to make a level without cutting the video once. So from the moment I wowed to the ending, there is going to be zero cuts. It's going to be raw footage. I got this idea from Tried. He made this video right here where my mouse is the easiest demon in Geometry Dash, where he went in and he beat the demon without cutting the video once. And I'm gonna try and do the same thing today, which is gonna be quite strange. It's gonna be with creating instead, which is, it's a, uh, it's very nerve wracking. So without further ado, I guess I'll just hop straight into the game. For some reason, my game lags a lot when I tab in, I don't know why. I just have to open the mega hack menu and close it. But I think I'm just gonna try and make a Rob top level without cutting the video once. I'm just gonna skip over to like, I don't know, Theater of Everything 2, and we'll make like a newer style Rob top level. I'm gonna start off with purple, make the ground black for a start. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of my editing mistakes, actually. It's quite funny, the amount of misclicks I do before I like restart cuts or something. Okay, so this is probably a copyrighted song. I gotta be very careful where I tread with this. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is add some black blending glow. This is something that Rob likes to do a lot. I'm gonna put that on a different editor layer and we'll just add some ground glow, which is gonna pulse. Uh, let me just move this to the side. It needs a group, which is not gonna be group one. I like to keep alpha trigger number one for opacity and stuff like that. So zero, I guess we can have a pulse right here. I'm gonna go with a nice orange. I know it's a very obvious color choice to go with, but I think it's just a safe decision. Considering I can't edit the video at all, I'm gonna have to go with something that I feel is quite safe. That seems fine if it's, you know, a bit more flashy like this. Maybe if I did it when you hit the orb, ooh. And then we could also add some of this around the orb, which is also gonna flash at the same time. Let me see. Oh, that needs to start on black blending though. Okay. So we have a pulse right there and we're gonna land on a block, I guess here. I don't really have much time to decide because I don't want to bore you guys too much. I don't want this video to be too long. It's just a test of my recording endurance. And I guess if you guys like this more laid back style, I can probably make my cuts more open in videos, but that's only if you guys think it's a good idea because I don't want to bore you and make my videos effortless or whatever. I'm going to make the object line copy the actual... Wait, I said that the wrong way around. The line copy the object line. Sorry, I got a bit confused there. See, it's all gonna come back and trip me up right now. How much I actually cut out of my videos when I make mistakes with commentary and stuff. Okay, new color channel. It's gonna be background colored and it's going to have, I don't know, I guess an object colored detail. This is pretty lazy, but it's something that I had imagined Rob Top would do. It's not bad. I can definitely create a pulse that's gonna make this look a bit better. I'm gonna copy the values and extend it all the way across like so. Oh, this is weird because now I'm commentating my every move. Wow, did I really just... Okay, hold on. I gotta figure out how these blocks work. I never use them. Where's the side piece? Where's the side piece? It's this, right? Is it? Yeah, it's this. Okay, that took me a long time to find. This is so cringe. Oh my God, this is so cringe. I can't deal with this. Uh, boom. No, that's the wrong, oh my god, that's the wrong object. Dude, this is embarrassing. I guess I don't know the editor as well as I thought. Okay, so this clean looking block is apparently the block I need to use, which is very strange. That doesn't sit right with me. Um, okay, so for the detail line, I clicked off the game. That's embarrassing. Uh, for this detail line, <laughs> I'm going to decrease the brightness ever so slightly. I need to bring the mega hack menu up just to stabilize. There we go. The frames should be back. Okay. We have this as a design on don't fade, don't enter. And you can see that this outline is slightly brighter. It's not as bright as I would like though. I think I'm gonna decrease it a bit further on the outline like this. Yeah, okay, sure, we'll rock with that. I think Rob would add some object colored blending on top too. Just some glow here on T2 maybe. Oh, with this pulse, hold on. Let me put on a different editor layer and I'll figure it out in a second. Uh, this looks bad. Did I even tick blending? I didn't tick blending. Yep, I make so many mistakes, dude. Okay, this looks like something that would pulse. So I'm gonna set this back to uh, color channel number 10. 
We're going to make a new pulse here, which is going to be slightly longer. And it's going to be for that. Did I even give it a group? I didn't give it a group, did I? This is so embarrassing. Wow, I'm actually making a fool out of myself. <laughs> group three. Duh. Oh, that's such a stupid mistake. I could have seamlessly done that, but never mind. Oh, that's actually kind of heat. Okay, this is good. I like it on orange instead of the object colored pulse. Okay, so we have this, which should probably be longer too, now that I think about it. And I'm also going to put some black based, no, object based and black detailed spikes. So on the inside, they're going to be black. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we just line the bottom and then I guess we just put some extra spikes here. Okay, not a bad start, but not good either. Certainly not good. Uh, so... Probably going to add some, you know, trickery with some pads and whatnot. i got to remember to speak every time I play test so I don't get copyrighted. That would be so unfortunate. Uh, let me put a block right here. This is also like a good trial for if I should start streaming again or not. Because sometimes I would shy out of streams if I wasn't sure on a concept. But I think if I get more comfortable with just openly commentating like this, then I will be able to stream a lot more confidently. Does that make sense? I feel like that's kind of a wimp thing to say, especially as like a, a building commentary YouTuber. Commentating is hard. Uh, that doesn't seem right, but it's real. It's a real thing that I think about. Like, am I gonna be comfortable enough when I'm doing, yeah, okay, that's a nice pulse, uh, when I'm doing these videos? Because some ideas that I do are quite hard to implement for me, so I gotta be careful. What would Rob Top put on the front? I gotta think now. While I do that, I'm probably gonna put some more of these swirling objects. Which is kind of ironic because Rob used these on the actual theater of everything too. Ooh. Would Rob custom rotate these? I feel like he might. I'm gonna put these on different values. Also, the Mario Kart Wii soundtrack is going hard. It's already past Mushroom Gorge and I'm still at the very beginning of this level. Uh, wait, we can put this on the same pulsing group. I guess. And then this can... Uh, wait, what's my plan here? What am I even trying to do? I'm trying to make a pulse, but it works at the same time as that. Okay, we're just going to rock with that, I think. Uh, so, we have some simple sync that I can make. We're going to actually build helper this. And what build helper does... Wow, that, that was weird. Uh, <laughs> build helper essentially just takes whatever you've got, if you've got a trigger selected too, and it just assigns it to a brand new... Did I forget the design? How did I not select the design? What the heck? Okay. That should be fine. So it basically just makes a new pulse out of what I've just created. Because I copied everything and I gave it a new value. I'm going to actually make this brighter and a lot flashier. Just to try and emphasize the fact that it's... That's so weak. I don't know why that's so low opacity down there. I don't know how to fix that, to be honest. It's just kind of lame. We could make other block pulses too. So if we take this object and give it group six, we can then add a pulse trigger here, which only changes the detail. And I guess it could go down in its color. Ooh, what am I gonna do? I guess I just make it for a showcase right here. So can I change? It's barely even noticeable. If I make it black, it'll be very noticeable, I think. Yeah, you see? That's actually not a bad look. I might keep that. If I just have a pulse right here, I guess that makes the outline somewhat interesting and makes the glow actually pop out a lot more. So I'm kind of down to keep that. And I guess I'll put some wavy objects, which can copy the object color, something like this. And we got to play test again, make some more gameplay, because why not? We can actually pulse this again with another build helper uh, pulse right here. I'm going to move the triggers out of the way so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so we have a one one oh and then we go into a portal, I guess. I'm not sure what to do. I'm just putting random gameplay because I have no time to think about it. All of my thoughts are being placed on my commentary, and that's scary. Uh, let me copy-paste this side of this block. Oh, should I build helper this then? Yes, I should. I absolutely should. Hold on, let me just build help with this. That doesn't seem very fair. I'm gonna move it down, move it a bit to the left as well. We can extend that block across. Peach Beach, I was expecting another Luigi circuit. Okay, so we go across and then we can have a spike block. Hold on, we need these spikes on the top, I think. And we can build help with this block, uh, which is this pulse trigger, yeah. 
Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. I haven't made any mistakes in a little bit, except I probably just jinxed myself. Uh, this seems fine, actually, and we can do another one of these block pulses down to black. Okay, so I now want some extra detail on this, I think, because it's looking very empty. Now, what I'm probably going to do is create a top side to this block just to create some more structuring without putting too much more effort in because, you know, I'm kind of lazy. Let's just flip that across uh, like so. We can move this trigger out the way again. That should, yeah, it flashes at the same time. It doesn't look too bad. We can select all of these spikes and give it another new group 10, which can have the exact same uh, frame as these six pulses. I clicked off the game again. I'm not used to having two monitors. I'm sorry. Okay, we make 10, have the detail of white. Hopefully I don't crash my game by typing too many Fs. Okay, so we should have spikes that, oh my God, the frame rate is awful. Sorry about that. Uh, they should go white. Okay, this is fine. We can probably make it go earlier and have a longer fade time in that case because it looks kind of strange the way it is. Okay, so we have a change in color straight away and we can also do something like that for the background which can be like 1.5 and 1 copying the color of itself like so with more brightness, a little bit more saturation to, you know, I'm kind of digging this. I like the way this is going so far. This is not bad for an uncut recording even though I've clicked off the game twice. Okay. So, we can copy paste this object again. I know, this is really goofy, but it creates more structuring up the top and it gives us an opportunity to put a blue orb right here, which is gonna be pretty cool. We can also do another one of these pulses with the rings, because why not? It adds quite a bit to the level, I think. It gives it a bit of, I don't know, dynamic detail, I guess you could say. And we're gonna extend this object out just a little bit to the side and continue the ground spikes at the bottom. So now we're gonna have some light background detail. Finally, I've got to this point. I'm gonna do something very simple just with these blocks. Uh, they can be flipped around. Ooh, would Rob scale these? I feel like he would just to make them fit in a bit more and make it neater because Rob Top's quite a neat creator. Light background goes quite pink there. I'm not sure how that's really happened, but I guess we'll take it. <laughs> I mean, sure, why not? Uh, we have some more ground spikes. Cool. So we have this block that you're supposed to... Ooh, how would Rob do this? Would he put a J block here? I think he would. I'm going to put a J block right at the top just to stop you from holding and getting another input. And I'm also going to put another one of these blocks, which is on group four and six, which is this pulse trigger. Awesome. We're making moves. We're making moves. I'm also going to spread this out just a tiny bit. Mm, would Rob space it like that? I feel like he would put a mini space there. Something like that. Just to give you a bit more time to react. Okay, let's see. We haven't made any saws or anything like that, but we have our pulses in place. We can extend this a little bit. Uh, I feel like he would do this again and have an orb. So I need to build helper this once more. We're using a lot of groups on this, but I feel like it's worth it. Let's just make this nice and neat. Oh, this... Oh, this orb doesn't have one of the... Wait, it does have one of the swirly things. Dude, come on. Uh, I guess we just add this to 14 because that's what we just built helper to. I can tell by the trigger here. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's continue with some more of this deco. I have some more ideas now. We can have uh, low opacity in this. Let's just copy this trigger and make it 15 on half opacity like so. And we can add maybe... What block would he use? I feel like Rob would add maybe some of this with a black base and some, not background. Yeah, background colored. No, I've got this all backwards, dude. I forgot to set this to black, that's why. Okay, that's not good though. Hold on, let me just experiment with this a bit with half opacity. Yeah, this is actually fine, hold on. If I copy the values, go to a new editor layer, we can definitely add this as some sort of, you know, strip deco. I didn't copy paste that properly. Uh, oh, this needs to be spread out more if I'm going to do it like this. Wow, I'm actually so silly. What am I doing? I copied the values when it was on editor layer zero, which is a shame. That's the kind of thing I would cut out in my videos and do a retake of because it's not very clear what I did. But now that I'm kind of bound to this, <laughs> this format, I guess I just got to rock with it and just explain all of my mistakes. 
We're gonna keep this on 15, but give it a new 16 value, which is gonna go up and down in its opacity, which is not something Rob Top would do, but I think it gives the level a nice twist. So it's giving it half opacity on top of being half opacity, and it's gonna make that backdrop a bit more dynamic. It's gonna fade in and out. It's gonna match the rest of the pulses in the level so far. Uh, we can probably copy paste this a little bit just to fill in a bit more space, give the level a bit of depth, you know, some easy stuff like this. Would Robtop add movements at this point? Probably. I'm going to try and move these objects the best I can. So I'm going to move them two blocks upwards and then give them both unique groups, 17 and 18, and then add a move trigger pretty much immediately. 17 down 20. I feel like he would bounce these down. I don't know. It doesn't really match with the song, but it's definitely a Rob Top thing to do. Is that enough? That's probably enough indication. All right, let's see. Let me just play test this in normal much to see. Yeah, that works. Okay, fine. And then we can probably rotate this portal. Did that even get fixed? I don't even know if this mechanic got fixed, but when you used to rotate a portal, it never used to actually work. Oh, bang. Bang a song. Uh, it never actually used to work properly because the portal would just... I don't know, there's something texture-wise that would just make this look really goofy, but I think it might have been fixed. So let's just have a go in normal mode. We haven't actually looked at this in its full form yet. It's not actually that bad. That's a cool, that's a cool portal. I like it. What I need to do is change the easing on this a bit. I'm going to try four, but I'm not really sure how that's going to work. Yeah, that's better. So basically, it kept the easing out, but it changed the rate that the easing happens. So it happens closer to me. That's cool. And we can add this spike on the side. Now, I think I'm probably going to end this level like roundabout here because this video is probably going to end up being too long if I don't do that. I have some decent concepts in here. I need to add this to a new group. I forgot to build helper. I'm sorry. What group was any of this? Uh, eight, nine. It looks like eight. Okay, so we're going to remove it from eight and give it 20. And then it's going to have a new pulse like right here. 20. Let's just see. Oh, that pulls the whole... Wait, that looks cool, though. That actually looks cool. Hold on. This is actually a huge revelation that I've just made. All right. So, how have I done this? Eight pulses. What have I... How have I... How have I done this? Six. What pulse is it? Oh, this block doesn't pulse. Duh. It's the glow that pulses. Eight. So, the whole block shouldn't be on eight. It should just be the glow. Now, I see why the eight in that box was... Uh, that... Is it blue or purple? Sorry, I'm colorblind. I don't actually know. Uh, I see why it was that low color because what that means is that not every object in the selection has that group For example, if I give these two objects group 21 and I give the right one 22 If I select them both this is darker because not all of them have this group I now understand what I did wrong So now I can add that glow to 20 and not have any problems. I hope anyway That would be really embarrassing if I did. Okay, cool. So now what I've discovered is that these blocks kind of go crazy when they have a group. So I'm going to spend some time just giving them individual groups, starting from 21. i got to be careful that I don't select the middle stripe thing. Yeah, you see, that's a problem because that would look really ugly if it was on orange. I can wholeheartedly say that without any doubt in my mind at all. Ooh, i got to remove these pads too because sometimes the pads keep their tint. You see, it's blue. Rob wants you to know that it's always blue. Like, there's not, he doesn't want any point where it's going to be unsight readable because of a pulse or whatever. So, he makes sure there's always some sort of tint, whether it be the particles or something else. Did I add the spikes to this earlier? I don't know if I did. I did. Did I do it on the top side, though? I did. Okay, let's keep that consistent. Did I do it on this one? Sorry, I'm having to backpedal a little bit because I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, okay. That was worth it, you see? Uh, then we need this object, which can be 27. Let's make sure I don't select the pad. I like Coconut Mall. Coconut Mall's a good track. It's also got good music. And it's a bit bumpy, so it feels a little bit unpredictable for me to play when I play Mario Kart Wii, but I do like this track quite a bit. Um, let me see. If I can just make a pulse like this in a staircase. I like to do my pulses like this because it makes the level kind of flashy. I don't see it working. Oh, it is working. All right, all right. It's just because 
when you zoom out so far, especially at the beginning of a level, the preview line isn't always where you think it is. Like, see, if I go all the way to the left, the level is showing in preview mode quite far in, even though I'm, like, as far to the left as possible. But you see, it is actually working the way I want it to, which is neat. What was the last group again? I literally checked and I forgot. 28, 29. All right. Uh, let's increment this because I forgot. And then 29. And then we can copy this and just... I don't know. We can reuse it a bit. Let's see. Is this going to work? I want it to kind of dot around. Yeah, this is cool. I actually like it. Loki. All right. So let me just add this little stripe into the middle of the level. How is it laid? It's laid pretty well. I'm just going to make sure it's before so it doesn't get in the way of anything. And I'm just going to shape it around all of the structures I've made because I don't want this to have any problems when it cuts into an object or whatever. Okay, cool. We have our little stripe there. We can also use it towards the ending too. So there's a bit of free decoration. I feel like a rope wouldn't change the opacity of it, but I don't know. I feel like it kind of looks cool the way it is. Uh, this should be fine. Do I want to move the orbs? Not really. Do I want to put a flash on the portal? Yes, I do. Let's get pulse trigger number seven. Put it right here. Build helper. And then we can put something else in the background just as a little extra touch. Wait, I accidentally selected a glow piece down here. That's my bad. Didn't notice that until right now. We're going to make sure all of this is on not don't fade and don't enter. I couldn't think of the opposite. Basically, what I want to do is add a block transition like this. And then when the song switches, I feel like Rob would change it. So I'm going to put something like this and then put it back to what it was. And then we can have a different one for the outro. So the transitions, the way that I have a start pause. I accidentally just punched my desk. That's embarrassing. Save and play. Let's just see what happens. So we have a bunch of different transitions on and off of the screen. What did I just do? How did I lift that jump? I have no idea. What just happened? Hello. Why have I made the level like this? Uh, we should change this orb because it makes no sense. Let me just put a purple orb in the middle. Let's grab that ring. Where is it? It's here. I keep misclicking buttons, dude. Okay. Something like this. We can copy paste that spike. All right, this should be very playable. I'm not going to lie. This should be fine. But I want to add a slight background, I think. Uh, I'm going to add... Ooh, what am I going to add? Let me just double up these blocks. Why not? This is a hideous color, so I'm going to make sure it gets fixed. But I'm going to put this on a new color channel before. Let's get this out the way. It's going to be don't fade and don't enter because it's a background. And I don't really want it to be transitioning on and off because it gets messy. Next free... Gr oh, I haven't used one. Really? Okay. Background blending with low... Oh, wait, we can make the opacity ourselves. We can use whatever it was. I think it was 15 that was half opacity. Yeah, that looks okay. And then we can have a bigger one that is on the slightly stronger opacity, which is... Hmm. Do we even have a 25%? I don't think we do. I don't think we do have a 25%. Okay, we'll make a new one. We'll make a new one, which is going to be on a new editor layer, obviously. Uh, link it together. Alpha trigger, can you please select? I hate putting triggers on the left side of the level. People always ask, why do you have link controls turned off? And it's because I just suck at selecting stuff when they're there. They just get in the way for me. I don't know. Uh, not 16. This needs to be 31, I believe. Okay. So we should have, yeah, we have two different pillars. And these are going to lock to the background, but they're going to move towards the player at different speeds, if you know what I mean. Okay. We'll link this together too. And I guess we'll make this slightly more frequent. It's not going to be consistently spaced, but I kind of like this idea. Let me just go a little bit further too. Okay. We need to add unique groups to these. So let me just select them all. This is 32. And this is going to be 33. Sorry, I had to think for a second. I don't know why that happened. I'm getting slow. Uh, okay. Boom, 34. So they have a collective 34 and they have 32 and 33 individually. Right, so we're going to lock, I think, 34 to the x-axis really quickly at the beginning of the level. And then 32 can kind of jump towards me. It's going to be a one second movement and it's going to go 50, I think, with the max easing rate. And then 33 is going to do the same, but go 30 and slightly longer. I don't know what I'm expecting here. Let me just see. That's kind of... Mm, I don't like that at all. I don't like that. Let me move it a lot further in that case. It can go 120 and it can go 100. See, this is some more stuff that I cut out of my videos. Movements that just don't work. 
<laughs> they just look stupid. Okay, we have our intro. You saw they kind of just flew towards me. Then we're going to start... Oh, no. We can have this right at the left wall, actually. So off the very beginning of the level, these objects are going to be moving towards the player with zero easing for 10 seconds. And they're going to be moving, like, I guess 240. And we're going to say 160. That needs to be the other way around. I want the bigger objects to move slower than the objects in the back. So this is going to be minus 240. And hopefully, this should create a dynamic custom background. Yeah, this is working. Okay, I'm happy with this. That's my result. I think that's my result. I don't want to go too much further. I don't want to mess up what I've already instated. This is a Rob Top level, is it not? I think this works pretty well. Hey, I've done pretty good for this video. Don't lie. Don't lie. Leave a like. Subscribe. I forgot to do all that stuff. Shout out to Tried for making that video first. That's my Rob Top level. I'm going to call it uh, Uncut and uh, Unforgiving. Unforgivey. There we go. And it's going to be uploaded on the Dan Z Women account by the time this video goes live. I don't know when it's going to be live. It's going to be going up when I'm on vacation, which is funny. But yeah, that was really fun. That felt like streaming to no one, which is not as fun as it sounds. I don't know. I just kind of like rambling on to myself and just talking about random stuff. Shout out to the Mario Kart Wii soundtrack for picking bangers. I think this is done pretty well. I don't know what else I would really add to this. This is as Rob Toppy as it gets for me, in my opinion. I did pulses, I explained build helper, I made a, I made an okay design, I guess. It's nothing special, but it works, right? Okay, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching this uncut Geometry Dash building challenge video. Check the links in the description, leave a like and subscribe, and have a good day.